Hey everyone, welcome back to Bit9. In today's video, I'll show you a cool workaround to create Gmail app on your Mac. Since there isn't an official Gmail app for Mac, I'll guide you through a simple method to make a Gmail shortcut that looks and feels just like a real app. This works on all MacBooks, whether you're using an M1, M2, M3, or M4 chip. The steps are super simple, so let's get started. First, open your web browser and navigate to the Gmail homepage by typing www.gmail.com in the address bar. You'll be taken to your Gmail inbox. Once you're on the Gmail homepage, click on the Browser tab to select it. Drag the URL from the address bar onto your desktop. This will create a browser shortcut for Gmail. At this point, you'll have a Gmail shortcut that opens the website in your default browser. But let's take it a step further to make it look more like a real app. Go to macosicons.com website in your browser. I will leave the website link in the description of the video. In the search bar, type Gmail to find a high-quality icon. Pick an icon that you like and click to download it to your computer. Next, we'll replace the shortcut icon with the new Gmail icon. Right-click or Command-click on the Gmail shortcut and select Get Info. In the Info menu, Drag the downloaded icon into the top left corner where the current icon is. You can also rename the shortcut to Gmail by clicking on the name and typing in the new name. Finally, to add this new Gmail app to your dock, simply drag the shortcut into your dock. Now, whenever you click on it, Gmail will open up in your default browser. This method isn't just limited to Gmail. You can follow the same steps to create shortcuts for other websites like TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. It's a great way to keep all your favorite websites easily accessible from your dock. And that's it. You've successfully created a Gmail app on your Mac. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more handy tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.